can't quite tell where I am. Well, not the right spot. <laughs> there we go. Let's get in out of the rain. Hmm. So there's our Grotty X80 Proto from a few days ago. Very nice car. That has something in common with the car we're about to get today. Yep. And what's that thing in common? That they're both very expensive. <laughs> very, very expensive. This car normally without any sales is $2.7 million. And the car we're about to get today is normally just over $2.8 million. So as far as I know, it's actually the most expensive car currently, or most expensive supercar currently in the game. And that's not counting any cars that have weapons or rockets or things like that. Because there are a couple vehicles that are more than that, obviously. But as far as cars go, it's very expensive. Yeah. So that's one gone against it. <laughs> Hello there, everybody. Welcome back. I'm the Missing Zog, and welcome back from Mark Grand Theft Auto Online. So here we are. It's out of the rain here in our office. I've got a small bounty on me, and it's raining. So it's probably a good time for us to uh, to uh, work on a car, right? Yeah, buy a new car. <laughs> so here's our Grotty collection. Got it assembled from the other day. It's kind of my supercar garage, although I think I'm going to be spreading them out more in the future. There's uh, a, not a lot of room left in this one garage. So I had to move some of them around to some of our other places out there. And upstairs here, we have our Pegasi collection, or I think all my Pegasi collection. I'm not sure. I might have a couple of others out there, but I think that's my Pegasi assembled collection. And I got the Monroe over there and the Tauros and the, uh, the um, Furnace Classic and the Tempesta, which is also on sale for a couple days. And our Zen Torno, which is a great car, high value car, and our Reaper over there too. Yeah, so today we're going to get ourselves the Pegasi Deseract. Yeah, very cool. And I think it's the most recent Pegasi uh, added to the game when you don't count the oppressors and things like that. The yeah, Mark II's. Yeah, let's bring it up. So we go to Legendary Motorsport. And it should be right here. I think we're going to order it right to our garage here and then we'll take it across town. Yeah, put it right beside all our other uh, Pegasis. Yeah, so normally, very expensive as I was saying, 2825000 and we're getting 40% off for the next couple days until Thursday the 20th. So uh, once that happens, um, it's, it changes over to the new event, new sales. Now that said, hopefully you guys can get it on sale in the future. It's coming gone on a lot of sales. It's very expensive, so hopefully they'll give it more sales. Um, so keep your eye open for it, unless you want to pay the full price. So 40% off is pretty good. It saves us over a million dollars. Very nice. And part of the uh, San Andreas Super Sport Series from last year. Seats 2. Yeah, the Gazi Tesseract. Ladies and gentlemen, we have crossed the frontier. The motor car has evolved. The first member of a new and alien species has arrived, and it does not come in peace. The Tesseract's only purpose is to wage a silent war of annihilation on anything else that dares to call itself a means of transport. As of now, there's a right side of history. Choose wisely. <laughs> well, we are choosing wisely, <laughs> I hope. There's a red one, very, very awesome in red. I was thinking about maybe we should order it in red or black. Blue. Mm. We will order in red, although I think I'm going to change it. We've done a lot of reds lately and black and reds. Um, so I don't think I'm going to pick a red today. But that said, it's a very nice car color choice for it. Yeah, so let's order it. Let's order it to where we are, office garage number one. There we go. Got our sale price. $1,695,000. Shorted. <laughs> All right, so that's the one thing down is the price. But I'm not complaining. I just got a good sale on it. So it's a more appropriate price to pay that. Yeah, and like I said, the Depest is over there too. That's also on sale if you want one of those. Yeah, very cool. Yeah, so the Picasso uh, Tesseract that we're going to get here in a couple seconds should show up right behind me, right in that uh, parking spot, right there, right over there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's electric concept supercar, which is very cool. This is a uh, uh, all electric car, so we're going to see what that's like. And uh, it seems to be based on the real life Lamborghini Terzo Millenio. Yeah. Very cool looking car, very um, futuristic looking car. And some people think it's also got some styling and uh, other influences based on the SRT Tomahawk, which is another very cool looking car. Now, both these cars are not even sure if they're actually released into the world yet. Many of these concept cars are never actually released or just a concept and never get further than that. But it's still pretty cool that we get them in the game. <laughs> yeah. So uh, there is some other uh, new super or electric cars added to the game. Originally, there was the original one, the, uh, the Coil Voltic was added in the game, the electric car. And that's the original electric car. And since then, they've added many cars since uh, the Neon, uh, a whole ton of other ones. But this one's a little different. 
Apparently it doesn't accelerate as fast as the other electric cars do, but it has a higher top speed than they do. So it's kind of give or take. I'm gonna have some coffee here. Mm. Much better. Yeah, I should get like a coffee sponsorship or something. <laughs> Definitely would be uh, worth it. <laughs> yeah, I drink uh, quite a bit. <laughs> yeah, it has some glowing parts as we're gonna see. So we're gonna, we're gonna see uh, the stock wheels any moment now, it should show up. Any moment? taking a while for our delivery today yeah so I've been looking forward to this car kind of has a oh there it is our new red Tesseract is now confirmed it is confirmed very cool awesome has a very um, um, uh, forward like cockpit centered looking design you know the driver's seat isn't in the center but it almost looks like it should be yeah it's very pulled into the car And after looking at some pictures and stuff of it and some friends that had them in the past, they, uh, I like this back. That's pretty cool looking back. Very awesome. Awesome. And there's the stock rims, which we might color. Apparently you can color them in the iFruit app for this outer, outer uh, mesh on the, uh, on the rim itself. So for those that know how to do that, we might do that. There's the iFruit app that you can put on your phone and order in, uh, well, you would uh, you go in and change your rim to a to a rim of color, you know, change it to say you wanted red, you would change it um, at Los Santos Customs or something to red, and then leave the uh, garage. And then on your iFruit app, you would order it um, in stock tires again, and the app would come up in game telling you to go back to LS Customs. You'd go inside, and then you'd go back to stock rims, and it would keep your color, so you'd have the red outside there. Very cool. All right, you want to hear what it sounds like? <laughs> That's right. That's what it sounds like. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> it's kind of a joke. There is no sound. It just kind of clicks, I guess, for the key. And that's it. For the starting button. And there's nothing else. Yep, gullwing doors. That's the only opening parts on the door on the car is the, uh, the, the two gullwing doors. Yep, no other sound. Let's double check that. Just to see. Yep, just the doors. Very cool. There's our dash. Hmm. Yep, so it's got a kilowatt dash there, like an electric car should. It does have a fuel gauge, it should have a battery gauge, but but it does have at least have the uh, the kilowatt gauge, so that's pretty cool. And there's no real car sound, there's just like a hum. That's it. Kinda cool, that open fender on the front. does have a slower acceleration like I was saying than other electric cars you can feel that but it does get going pretty quickly and it's still very fast because it is a supercar <laughs> standard horn <laughs> well, slides easy I was using the all-wheel brake there some cars let you slide some cars don't so you can use that to your advantage or watch out for that, depending on your driving styles. Yeah, very futuristic look though. I do like that uh, that ass actually. It's a nice looking uh, backside to the car. You know, for the type of car that it is, it has that futuristic mean look to it. On the back. Yeah, the front's nice too, but I do like the back. Hmm. Let's take it inside the shop. I think we'll go in here. Might give it some colored headlights or something. We'll see. Yeah, so it's not nighttime, so we can't really um, um, show you guys yet. But uh, but these uh, these rims themselves, it's a good idea to keep the stock rims because they actually glow. So at nighttime, those will glow with your secondary color. There's other glowing parts too, which are uh, I think a lot of these engine lines here that you guys can see there in red. Though they will glow as well. I'm not sure about the uh, the suspension coils there. Maybe. But yeah, there's some glowing parts on there. 
So the secondary color actually does a lot of things with this vehicle. LJT. Hey, LJT. Busy LJT. You should run it this time, partner. <laughs> Your turn. <laughs> We're spending money. Then we'll get back to making some. Let's take it into the shop. What are we doing then? What's it going to be? It's going to be everything. Everything. Yeah. So another cool thing about this is that you can actually tint the windshield on this car. So we're probably going to tint it. I like tinted windows. But uh, there's only, um, I think it's only the Vision, or some people call it the Vision. I'm not sure. It's hard to say which one's right. Some people think it's supposed to be the Vision, but it's hard to say. But there's another supercar called the Vision, Vision, and uh, it has a, a tintable uh, front windshield, just like this car does, the Tesseract. But they're the only two cars I know of that let you uh, tint the front windshield. Yeah, might as well just show you. Yeah, not too many cars let you do that. Now, it depends. Some people may not like that for first person. I kind of like it. But we'll come back to that because we might want to look in the interiors in there in a bit and see what's possible. Now, for this car, it's actually quite difficult to pick a good color for it. Well, not difficult at all, actually. It's difficult to decide, I should say, because there's so many really good choices you can pick with this. So we've got primary colors, secondary colors, and trim colors and liveries that we're going to have a look at, too. So your primary is obviously your primary. There it is in chrome there. And uh, I'm not big on the chrome vehicles, but this is another vehicle that can pull it off if you uh, like that kind of thing. Yeah, then your secondary color controls quite a bit of other things. Let's see, uh, let me get something bright on there. Yeah, we'll go to some kind of green. There we go, lime green. Just so you guys can see it stand out, all the different parts that are secondary. Now on top of that, we also have a trim color. And the trim color changes your interior in here. I'll zoom in there. So there's quite a few different combinations you can get with this car. More than most cars let you. And like I said, on top of that, the secondary color glows with the electric glow. So it's something you can take advantage of if you keep the uh, stock rims and stuff. Let's have a look at those liveries. So here's the roof lag livery, first livery, which I'm actually thinking about using. I like it. It's subtle, it's simple. It's not like a crazy livery. It's just a subtle one. I like how it fades off in the back. Adds a little detail to the back a little bit. There's the flag stripes. Yep, very cool. I want to represent Italian, Italian representation. <laughs> it's very cool. It does really go well with the car. You know, it's a nice looking stripe. And there's a Sprunk Livery, Sprunk number 68, which actually has that uh, that faded flag there, hidden as part of it. The Junk Livery, the Quick Fix. <laughs> Beinemach, which is very popular. A lot of people like this livery. I like this livery. I don't know if I'm going to pick it, but it's very popular. It's probably one of the most popular livery that's out there. I do like the fact that it says Pagasi right there. Gives you extra Pegasi um, badges, I guess you could say. If we get a spoiler, like I'm sure we will in a, in a bit, it'll actually give us some more Pegasi uh, badges on the on the spoiler as well, if you have that uh, Mind Mock livery, for those that like that. And then there's the Hama Janina. Remember, these are all red tinted because we've got a red car. So a lot of people really like these liveries, as far as uh, you know the choices go. One downside some people find is that the uh, the car color choices can be, the livery choices can be hard to match with uh, with cars. Like this orange is hard to match apparently. But you can always go into crew colors if you guys want to, to uh, match it, anything like that, or get into any special colors that are not normally available in the game. Yeah. Some people always forget about the crews. You can have five crews. Some people forget about that too. So if you're part of a crew, you can still create your own personal crew. A lot of people have one personal crew that they'll use just for crew color paint jobs. So there's the Fook, Fook you, <laughs> Global Oil number two. Yeah, that's kind of cool. I like that. That's kind of crazy looking. Futuristic look. Yeah, it goes with the car anyway. And that's all the libraries. Yeah, very cool. All right, let's pick our car color choice, I think. Now, this car um, does really good 
in a lot of different colors. Like I think just black, but we've done, like I said earlier, a lot of red choices lately, a lot of black and red choices. But uh, the colors we've used recently, like our Gradiax 80 um, Proto there, would look amazing on this car. You know, some red headlights, if you have an arena property, and all this red, that'd be, that'd be very cool. So I think that's a very cool, mean looking paint job. Personally. Let's have a look at the metals. And I'm actually thinking about a brushed black steel. I was thinking about a silver and a dark black and uh, other shades that are similar. And I started thinking that maybe brushed black steel would be the right one for this one. So that somewhere in between that's still shiny. Brushed aluminum, pure gold, and brushed gold. I actually think that's not bad. This is a car that can pull off gold. As we said before, not every car can. But that's actually not too bad if you did the uh, secondary color right. Maybe black as a secondary or something. I don't know what happens when you have black as a secondary. Does it glow black? <laughs> I can't imagine it does. Probably just does like a, a dull glow. Hmm. Wonder what a black glow looks like. <laughs> oh, now for all the rest of you guys, we should go through the rest of the colors before I decide. So, there's the silvers, which is what I, what I might pick too, because some of these look great. The graphite, the anthracite black, black steel, dark steel, silver, and there's some blue steels, shadow silver. You can always add like a shadow silver and maybe like a light blue secondary or something like that. Stone silver, looks great stone silver too. And the reds that we already have, I think it looks real sharp in red and black and red. But it actually looks great in a lot of color choices and there's a lot of little, little varieties you can get, especially with the libraries uh, added in there as well. Yep, orange and black. But I'm not sure there's any color that looks bad on this car, really. As long as you did the uh, the other combinations right. Like even some of these off colors that uh, you don't might not use very often, like the olive green here. Looks really good. I was thinking about a dark green as one of my other choices that I might do. Like a forest green or a dark green, but that olive green is nice. It has a rich, rich guy effect to it, you know, very sophisticated looking car. Not for the racetrack. <laughs> Although, still you could, but... <laughs> Looks like it should be parked in front of a mansion or something. Bison brown. Mm. Creek brown. More coffee. Feltzer brown. Mm. Mm. Actually, it's not bad at all. If you did the right choices with it. Even with the red, it's actually not too bad at all. I think the Feltzer Brown's kind of a ready orange brown anyway. Yeah, maple brown. So lots of great choices. So hopefully you guys can get inspiration. Or do what I do, whatever you like. <laughs> but like I said, I do like the uh, the black with red and the reds. But I think there's almost uh, every color, color on here looks great. Even for a crazy, um, you know, futuristic Joker kind of car, if you know what I mean. Which is kind of ugly sometimes for some people. <laughs> this car pulls it off really well. You know, like it does all that and more. I, I think a lot of it's just the weird futuristic -y kind of look to it in the first place. But I do like that back. Looks nice. Still maintains that supercar look, despite all the uh, futuristic accents. Hmm. Now for me, that is really tempting. For a lot of those colors, it's really hard for me to decide on this, as you can tell. But I think I'm actually going to go with the silver, brushed black steel. Which is actually very similar. I think they, they showed some, some pictures I was looking at of the, uh, the um, uh, Terzo Millennio, the uh, Lamborghini Terzo Millennio, and I'm thinking I might go with something similar to that. Because it does look nice. You can go with the black and orange, or you can go with the, uh, the metal and orange. I'm not sure if that's exactly what I'll go with, but... Oh, yeah. Similar. Yeah, he likes it. Mind you, I think he thinks everything's pretty sexy, but still, I'll go with it. He likes it. <laughs> All right. Now our secondary. Hmm. We can go back and choose it, but after. We can go through right now, though. 
I'm sure there's some other parts that are affected too. But yeah, it's good to think outside the box. Like even that dew yellow is like crazy. I, it doesn't quite go with what I'm thinking, but on a black or something, matte black or something, that'd be, for people that like yellow, that's pretty uh, glowy. Yeah. Which is the kind of car that it is, so why not embrace it, right? Of course, lime green always does electric glow well. And of course, blues. Yeah, blue. Like the Tesseract from the Marvel movies. <laughs> you go with the blue. Yeah. Tesseract, or the Tesseract with an S instead of a Z. This is with a Z, Tesseract. But with an S is uh, um, a four-dimensional cube, or it's kind of like the representation of it. So, you know, a square is a two-dimensional shape. You know, you'd, write, you'd draw a square on a page. If you made a square a three-dimensional shape, you call it a cube, because it's now squared, it's cube. If you made that a four-dimensional shape, that would become a tesseract. Yeah. That's where that name comes from, I suppose. That's a cool glow. Hmm, I'm gonna have a hard time designing that. I was thinking an orange. Let's have a look at those oranges. Yeah, so that's very similar to a real life uh, Terzo Millennial. So, do I want a bright orange? Or dark orange. I think a dark orange. Yeah. I think that'll do. We can change our mind later. That looks good. All right, trim color. We're in graphite right now. I think I might just leave it or change it to black. And you um, see the little trim there. You guys can see there that trim. That's all your secondary color too. So. Keep that in mind too, if you wanted your interior to have any special kind of stitching, yeah, that would be your secondary color. I should go around the other way. I'm gonna go to the oranges. Though, like I said, I'm thinking I'm probably gonna keep it in black. But I'll see what the matching orange looks like. Now I'm, got, I'm gonna have tinted windows anyway, so. Maybe we should tint those windows after all. Limo tint. Nice. Now she's looking dark. Dark and mean. Sinister. <laughs> Just the way I like it. All right. Now I'm going to go down to those oranges again. And I want something that doesn't stand out on the outside. Something that you don't see until I open the car door. If I'm going to pick it at all. Because I do like the black. But there's nothing wrong with some picking some some color. I'm a very dark person, as I've said before, so I try to have some color in there wherever I can, but still maintain that dark, mean look wherever possible. I think the sunrise orange might actually do well. Matches our stitching, our secondary, so it goes well on the interior, adds a little bit of life in there, and doesn't really stand out when you're looking at it from the outside. Like that. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's hit the top and go through the options. Armor, 100% armor for 50,000. Brakes, so race brakes for 24,500. All right, engine level. I'm not sure if this makes a difference. Apparently, some people say that a lot of the electric cars, it makes no difference adding these. They go to the same top speed, same uh, acceleration. I'm not sure if that's true or not, but I'm going to get the level four anyway. The bar was changing, so it says acceleration goes up. Maybe on this car it helps. Yeah, because it does show a difference. So level four. There was a little bit of a, a windy hum that you probably, you guys probably didn't even hear when I changed it. Barely even audible little woo woo. That's it. All right, bumpers, front bumper. Hmm. Well, let's pick that library. Being that we were still um, picking our looks and the spoiler changes the look a little bit too. Quite a bit, I'd say. Hard plate. Business arc. Thank you. Yeah, spoiler. What do we got here? Hood lip spoiler. It's a nice subtle one. 
So like we said before, you do want some kind of spoiler. Usually in the game, um, you need one to give you that little boost of, uh, of traction, which traction usually means more speed. That's cool. Big lip spoiler. I go with the body frame anyway. Split arrow spoiler. That's cool. Aggressor spoiler. Competition spoiler. Mm, that's kind of Zentorno like. GT spoiler. Awesome. I wonder if there's some bumper options in there too. And the carbon on that wing goes right with your uh, the carbon on the back too. Which is a nice touch. When they go together. Hmm, that's a hard one. I do like the lip. And the big lip. The split arrow's nice. That's a nice little race car look to it. The aggressor's nice. I might pick the aggressor. That gives it a nice classic look car, kind of race car look, you know, supercar look. Nothing too crazy. But it looks good being classic. And the competition spoiler is tempting. It actually matches the car really well. Yep, yeah, doesn't cover up anything. The carbon goes with the rest of it. You've got second. You've got um, painted ends on it, so it can go with your car. Hmm, I might actually pick that competition spoiler, just to keep it looking Lamborghini-like. Although I'm not sure. I think at this point I'm straying away from the real life one. <laughs> Eleven thousand two hundred. All right, he likes it. Thinks it's sexy. I think so too. I think so too. So we don't want to change our wheels, so let's go back to those bumpers. Rear bumpers, we were looking at the spoiler, so. Custom diffuser. Change that little part there. Competition diffuser. Drops the whole thing down. And primary competition diffuser, and secondary competition diffuser. Hmm. So if you're looking for that kind of glow, the highlights, you know, from the from your secondary color, then you would want the secondary competition diffuser, which I think I'm going to get. It'd be nice if they did that on some of the other variety, but that's the only one they do that with. So 14,500. Okay, now the front bumper. So primary extension, secondary extension. If you want to add some some of your secondary to the front, carbon, and primary sports splitter. Secondary sports splitter and carbon. Primary race, secondary, secondary race splitter, no carbon for that one. GT splitter, then you get the little uh, GT side wings there, they're right there. Hmm. And that's all of them. Hmm, and those little GT wings would probably go well with the uh, aero splitters, uh, the other spoiler we were looking at. Hmm. So do I want some more secondary color on the front? Or not? I think I might. Because there's not too much secondary otherwise. But yeah, they're just kind of like little lips for the uh, front bumpers and that's about all you can really add. So secondary race splitter with the secondary color there. 15,300. Thank you. Jazzy. Secondary shocks. You can see the shocks right there in the window. Guess we should have done that before we tinted it. <laughs> and chrome shocks, lit shocks, and hidden shocks. So the hidden is kind of nice. I wish they did, they gave you this that option in the X80 Proto, as I was mentioned before. It'd be nice to have different options for it. But we want the lit shocks. Now, if you want it to glow, apparently the lit shocks are the only ones. So these do light up but only if you pick the lit shocks. So any of these other ones do not light up. It's nice that they give us chrome though. Chrome actually goes really well with our metal. But I'm gonna pick the lit shocks. Because this car already glows, so I'm gonna embrace the glowing. 
and get it glowing some more. All right, engine we already picked. Horn we don't need to change. Lights, mm, we'll come back to that. Ivory. All right, there's the roof flag that I was gonna pick for a little bit of added detail. Kinda like how it's subtle. That's what I was looking for. You don't really notice it, it doesn't really stand out. But the others still look good with a metal background. It's debonair, looks nice. And the global oil. Fuku, Fuku, <laughs> Fuku, Fuku. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure, <laughs> but yeah, I think I'm gonna go with that roof flag. Gives it a touch of race car there. Although I also like the uh, flag stripes too. Roof flag for eighteen thousand two hundred forty. All right, we picked our plates. We picked our spoiler and wheels. We're not gonna change anything with those. We are going to buy some bulletproof tires though. 25,000. <laughs> tire smoke. Uh, give it some orange tire smoke. Why not? For 15,000. All right. Can't do anything else with the stock tires unless we use the iFruit app, which I might do. Okay. So I think that's all the options. So if you guys noticed, there was no uh, suspension. Um, so we can't lower it or raise it or anything like that. And there's no um, transmission because it's an electric car. Um, so there's no options, yeah, no turbo either. Yep, not too often you don't see no turbo. Or you, yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> All right, very cool. So, lights, headlights. Now, is there an orange light that can go with those lights? Just the one set, unless you go to yellow or something. Yeah, that's not bad. Yeah, we'll buy now. 52,800. I gotta play some Arena War. Alright. Cool. Now, do I want a neon kit? I was iffy on this. Depends on the glow on it. Hmm. Because I could give it an orange glow. And you could always just do the front and, uh, or front and back. Because I think it already would have a side glow from these, uh, from the tires. But I think I'll leave the neon kit off for this one. All right, so let's take it out. Exit the arena. Okay, have fun. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, man. See you later. Perfect, it's dark. All right. Let's see if we can get a glow, or get a side look at those glowing, glowing wheels. So as you guys can see, you may not notice it because it doesn't really uh, have a shine to it. You know, it doesn't have like a flashlight shine. It just glows. You know, you just see the color right, like the, right there, all that orange. See how much it stands right out at you? But it doesn't really actually have a light like our headlights do. See? So it's a very subtle glow, whatever you pick. Even if you pick a bright color, it's not going to actually shine out at people. It just kind of... I don't know. Glows without a shine somehow. <laughs> a lightless light. <laughs> Woohoo. Well, that definitely improved things if you ask me. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Trying out my new car. All right. Now, I think I'm going to change those to black with the iFruit app. It's tempting to change them to orange, but I think I'll just add that extra little bit of black extension on over top of that orange mesh. Yeah. Yeah, and otherwise, I think I might actually be done with that. I think I'm happy with that, aside from checking it out in, in uh, fully upgraded form. Woohoo. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, not bad. I'll go see how for our order. Yeah, and I find it does have some some sound to it, so it's not completely silent. 
I do uh, agree with other people. I find electric cars kind of spooky when they're when they're completely silent. It's it's very strange, you know. But um, but this actually has that that whine to it, and it's not like a good sound or anything. But it 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 makes my mind happy. <laughs> it makes my brain happy that I can hear it. So you know, it gives me a sense of speed happening and slowing down. <laughs> uh, so on my phone here, I'm just going to bring up the iFruit app. It takes a couple moments. So you guys can download that from Rockstar's website for your computer or uh, any any computer that's Windows 8 uh, and above that can run apps. Or, of course, on any phones, any older phones that are still touchscreen, um, tablets, things like that. Um, you can download it from the uh, the Apple Store, the, uh, the, um, the Google Play Store. It's free on all these uh, platforms. It came out when the original game came out back in 2013 for GTA 5. So it's an old app that Rockstar doesn't update anymore. Just to warn you guys, it's a terrible, terrible, terrible app. <laughs> but it works for what we're about to do. Yeah, so we've talked about it before, but maybe some of you guys don't know. But certain vehicles, so if they're chrome, you cannot. So if they're shiny, you can't do this. But uh, any of that are like this alloy there, see that gray alloy on the outside? You can usually change them in the iFruit app. Oh, there it is. Turn that down. That's the iFruit app starting up. It takes a couple moments. Now, the app does take a couple moments. It's an old app, and it can be a little laggy. You have to wait till you have the car, obviously, to do this. So uh, I, I think sometimes it's hard to say if it's just an old garbagey lap or if it's also the fact that, um, um, that it lags a little bit while it updates that I now have this car. So... Sometimes you go in there and the car may not be available. Some people find it disappears and then they'll go in later, five minutes later, and it'll be there after. All right, guys. So we're going to change our rims here. So my app now shows the car. It took a moment for the car to show up there. But I realized we got to change the uh, tire first. So if you're using the iFruit app to change your rim color on the stock rims, you can uh, you first have to change something so let's repair the vehicle for a hundred bucks thanks Al and let's go to our wheels and usually pick the cheapest rim possible I think that's muscle the classic five yeah well just pick any cheap rim you like but we'll just go to the classic five I think it's the cheapest so we're only throwing we're throwing away a few thousand dollars three thousand five hundred now we can color it obviously so I'm thinking about going with the black instead of that orange. So, black it is. And I don't think this will save. You guys can always try this on any car you want. But sometimes these details will save too. Sometimes. Sometimes you get weird little things um, like our, I believe our uh, Tyrus also has the atomic that stayed on the uh, tire once we reverted it back to stock. So I usually put it on the details just to see if they stay or not. Be right back, Al. Okay, so, colored our rim, picked a cheap rim to color. Now I'm just going back on my iFruit app, where I already have my Pegasi Tesseract ready to go. And now I'm going to pick stocked wheels. And I'm gonna order that. There we go. Wheels, accept. Order sent successfully. All right, now it's a good idea to do this while you're in the game. There it is, on our bottom left. Drop by Los Angeles Customs to have your Tesseract order fulfilled. Okay, if you don't do this in the game, it can be a little problematic. So it's a lot, a lot easier to do it while you're right there, and then quite often it'll show up right away like it just did for me. And then for some, whatever reason, Rockstar set it up like this. You just process the app order. There we go. And that's all you can do. It kicks you back out. <laughs> if you want to do more, you got to come back in. Thanks, Al. That's a funky view. Woohoo. There she is. All right, now as you guys can see, our alloy has now changed to black. But the orange background's still there. So you can change that to whatever you like. Reds, maybe, if you got a red paint job. For red accents, or more orange, if you want more orange on yours. All right, very cool. Let's see if we can get a front view. Not really. Back view. <laughs> she does have a sexy back. And she goes like crazy. Whoa. <laughs> Sorry <for> that. <laughs> it is nuts. Yeah, very fast supercar. <laughs> yeah, no details saved. 
so no atomic work save. So I wouldn't bother wasting your money on that. But you can color the stock rims, though. All right, yeah, very cool car. So going by uh, Bruffy's testing that we usually use, um, in the supercars class, this one's kind of middle of the road. So um, uh, for top speed, it's 17th. And for, for lap time, oh, no, top speed, it's 14th. And lap time, it's 17th. Yeah. So that's out of uh, about 40 cars, 40 supercars. So that's actually pretty good. That's actually better than, than half the cars. And uh, remember when it comes to supercars, most of these cars are separated by, by very short second or two, you know, like they're very close cars. So um, in many ways, it's more about the driver that wins the races than the car itself. But you still want to be, whoa, whoa, that's crazy. <laughs> you still want to be competitive. Um, so definitely this is a very competitive car. But I think it's more of a novelty for the glowing, glowing wheels and everything. Yeah. And I could give it an under kit too. A uh, neon kit if I want to glow. Have it glow some more. Oh, that is cool. Cool. And I did get some extra Pegasi uh, looks to it. Or uh, badges, I should say. Or whatever you want to call it. Logos. Yeah. I wonder if I can see it. It's on there. Ah. I can just barely see them. I'm trying to change the lighting, but it just hides it, which is what I like. I'm, I'm not sure if that's part of the library. I think it is. But I know it's on the spoiler. It says Pegasi. You can just barely make it out. I don't know if you guys can see it. I like that on the metals, that, that it hides the library. So it just gives it these subtle details. But it actually says Pegasi right there. You can barely make it out, and Pegasi right on the end of the uh, spoiler, too. Yeah. Awesome. Extra little details. I like that. <laughs> In we go. Yep, and a tintable windshield. I think that they should let us on more cars. Although they should give us the option when you tint windows. It'd be nice if I had a secondary, you know, option to tint windshield or not. There she is. Our Pegasi Tesseract. Our Terzo Millennio Pegasi Tesseract. <laughs> Very cool. I like it. Hopefully you guys do, too. <laughs> well, I think that's that, everybody. I'm going to take it out some more and get used to it, because apparently I don't drive it very well yet. <laughs> well enough. <laughs> yeah, and I do like how my interior is kind of hidden like I wanted. You know, it's got some color in there now. Yep, but at the same time, yeah, it hides behind our tinted windows. And there's this back window that you can kind of see out of there, too. Not that way, just that way. Yep, small little detail. Otherwise, it's kind of your regular Pegasi uh, interior, though. But I like it. Very cool. Hey, where are we hanging out? <laughs> All right, well, thanks for watching, everybody. I am the Mizzen Sock. We'll see you again next time. Thanks for liking. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for being here. And uh, big thanks and love to all our Patreon supporters out there too. Big help. Big hand. Uh, big hand. <laughs> Whoa. Watch out for the curbs. I like how it's got such a low profile. It's very uh, futuristic. Yeah, so very low. Almost like it has no suspension, you know, but it really, it's actually incredibly smooth. But it doesn't feel like, it doesn't look like it's a very suspension-y kind of car, but it drives smooth as can be. A little bouncy. But as long as you're not bouncing, it sticks to the uh, road really well. figure out what to get next yep I think I have all the other cars that are on special for this week although it's only a couple days away from the new week's uh, events new specials and discounts 
I got a couple other cars I was going to grab too. Oop. Maybe some more laid back grinding. I think I've got my cargo warehouse on a half full again. Make some more money. Make our money back. <laughs> on the way to 100 million while we spend money. 100 million the fun way. <laughs> Whoa. Cinematic crazy driving. Look out. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, definitely a very cool addition to our Pegasi collection. Wish we had uh, more glowing wheeled kind of cars too. That's pretty cool. Very cool option. Yeah, I could give it like a special pearlescence on there, but I think it's just fine the way it is. I like that brushed uh, black steel. I think it's exactly what I was looking for. <laughs> Very cool. Dark and menacing. Whoa. <laughs> I never liked that sign anyway. <laughs> yeah, very silent. Silent and deadly in a good way. <laughs> Take care, everybody. See you again soon.